we have the absolute value of 4 minus 2 thirds x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. Since we want the absolute value portion on the left side, we're going to start by subtracting 3 from both sides of the inequality, giving us the absolute value of 4 minus 2 thirds x is greater than or equal to 2. This will give us two inequalities. 4 minus 2 thirds x is greater than or equal to 2. Or 4 minus 2 thirds x is less than or equal to negative 2. We're going to start with the first inequality and we're going to subtract 4 from each side. This will give us negative 2 thirds x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Next, we're going to divide both sides of the inequality by negative two-thirds. Since we are dividing by a negative number, we're going to flip the sign. This will give us our first solution of x is less than or equal to three. Moving on to the second inequality, we're going to subtract four from each side, giving us negative two-thirds x is less than or equal to negative six. Next, we're going to divide each side by negative two-thirds. Once again, since we're dividing by a negative number, we're going to flip the sign. And we're going to have our second solution of x is greater than or equal to nine. So we have two solutions. x is less than or equal to three, or x is greater than or equal to nine. In interval notation, this will be negative infinity to three in union with nine to positive infinity. Now to graph this, we are going to draw a closed circle around 3 and an arrow going towards the left or towards negative infinity. And we are going to draw a closed circle around 9 and an arrow going to the right or to positive infinity.